With his angelic features and magnetic gaze, Alain Delon lit up cinema screens across the world for over 60 years. Being an actor involves years of work. It's a career. And for me, that represents a lifetime. Born in the Parisian suburb of Sceaux in 1935, Delon enlisted in the Navy at the age of 17 and left for French Indochina. On his return, he lived off odd jobs and met Brigitte Aubert. An actress, she helped him start out in a film called Send a Woman When the Devil Fails. I was quite surprised to become the object of a film star's desire. I wasn't prepared for that. And that's also when I realized that not everyone was on a level footing starting out, and that looks counted for a lot. His career took off three years later with crime thriller Purple Noon by René Clément, where he seduced audiences with a hypnotic and mysterious character. It was then Italian director Lucchino Visconti that offered him one of his most memorable roles, a boxer in Rocco and his brothers, alongside Annie Girardo. Chacun peut avoir la vie qu'il veut, s'il la veut vraiment, mais il faut pas avoir peur. Et toi, tu as toujours l'air d'avoir peur. Time magazine once described him as the most handsome man in the world. Delon was a star, and he knew it. It's the public that makes you a celebrity, or it's the public that makes you a star. A star is something more. It's like a blessing. It's obvious. He starred in over 90 films with some of the greatest directors of his time, including Jean-Luc Godard. He played roles in The Leopard with Claude de Cardinal, in Any Number Can Win with his idol Jean Gabin, The Samurai, Mr. Klein, or Our History, which earned him his only César award. What do you think? And of course, The Swimming Pool, starring Romy Schneider, perhaps his most sensual role. Romy was his first true love. They spent five years together and were engaged. Dad! But he then married Nathalie Delon, who gave birth to his first Dad. son, Anthony, in 1964. He also spent 15 years of his life with actress Mireille Darc and later met model and TV presenter Rosalie Van Bremen. Together, they had two children, Anoushka, born in 1990, and Alain Fabien, born four years later. During the final years of his life, Alain Delon lived as a recluse in his estate in central France. He suffered three strokes in 2019, which severely weakened him. And at the age of 88, he witnessed his children tear each other apart over their inheritance. He died adored by many, if not worshipped, but alone. <laughs>